If you guys can't already tell, this is going to be an Angry Brad movie review in the best way possible because this is easily one of the worst films of the year so far, and I saw Marmaduke on Netflix, so if you're just as excited as I am, let's shred this movie together. <laughs> Welcome back film fans, it is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad, and today in the channel, I want to talk to you guys about the brand new horror film that came out for a three-day special Fatim event this week called Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Jeepers Creepers Reborn is the fourth film in the Jeepers Creepers franchise as it is a reboot of the original trilogy and the start of a new trilogy that is happening soon. This film is about the Horror Hound Festival that is being held for the first time in Louisiana. Among the attendees are Chase and his girlfriend, Lane, who begin to experience unexplained premonitions and disturbing visions associated with the town's past and the creeper. So going into this film, I didn't know a single thing about it because I was too busy catching up with the other Jeepers Creepers films, and with the steady decline of each movie getting worse and worse, and only having this film be a three-day Fatim event, I was pretty nervous about it because that doesn't sound like it's going to be a good film, but... I was open-minded to it, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is easily the worst film of the year so far, and probably one of the worst horror films I have seen in quite some time. Everything about this film just feels so unprofessionally made, as it feels like a fan film you would find on YouTube, like with somebody who wants to make a Cheapest Creepers movie, but the difference is that this is a three-day movie event, I had to pay $15 for my ticket, it's a part of the official franchise and the fact that the director made this whole long speech before the movie started about how much care and effort that went to this movie and how much he loves Jeepers Creepers, but I don't see any of that on the screen. Let's just dive right into the negatives in detail, and we always got to start with the performances because the performances here are really really bad. I don't know if this is just due to the awful direction or the terrible screenplay, but the actors in this movie are just simply terrible. They can't do anything in this movie to get it right, as every performance is just simply awful, embarrassing, laughable, and just so irritating to watch, as you really feel like none of the actors are remotely responding to what's happening in the scene, or at least they're trying to when the creeper comes out and they're like, uh, I I'm scared. I'm trying to be scared. Like, my face right there was probably more emotion than any of the actors in the movie. This movie just feels so out of place. I found that the shots in this movie were really terrible and not scary and just not filled with any tension. But I also found that this movie just went all over the place and it didn't know what it wanted to be because this movie takes itself very seriously through most of the movie. But there are times where it is trying to be funny, but no. No one in my theater even remotely chuckled, so I don't really know what this movie was even going for, but it just seems like it's all over the place, especially with the screenplay that is easily the worst of the year with all the dialogue just being embarrassingly bad. None of the conversations really make sense half the time. They're just filler points to just get to the action scary scenes and even those are just as awful. There was a couple storylines in this movie that just went nowhere especially with one character that shows up in the beginning of the movie and then doesn't show up till later and my wife told me about it and I totally forgot about it so I'm so thankful I watched it with her because she remembered this one one character that just never showed up again and they didn't really explain why or why this character didn't look for this other character. It just didn't make a lot of sense. I also found the visual effects to be extremely distracting here as all this movie is is just a massive green screen with a terrible production design that looked like it was set up in one day and horrendous CGI. I could not believe how embarrassing it all looked and I understand that this movie didn't have a lot of money and I am very respectful of that because, you know, we all know the best horror films are the ones that didn't have a lot of money to make them. This movie could have used a lot more practical effects and just made this movie a little bit more interesting. But when you have police cars a part of your green screen because you couldn't afford to get real police cars, you have a real problem in your movie because I don't think I've ever seen that in a movie like this. All the kills are so hilarious.
notoriously bad and filled with the, some of the worst fake blood I have ever seen. This movie just has no detail for it, as every single thing is so obvious and predictable. This movie also isn't scary in the slightest, so if you're going to this movie just expecting really good kills or to have some tension, you're literally not going to get any of it. My biggest complaint I can give this movie is just the fact that this movie is so damn bad boring. The first half of this film is just a bunch of filler with a bunch of terrible characters, awful writing, and just getting you to the second half of the movie where all the good stuff's going to happen. But it takes so long to get there for most horror films, and the fact that this movie's around an hour and 30 minutes or a little bit less, and you just feel like the whole movie is like two and a half hours. Overall, Jeepers Creepers Reborn is easily my worst movie of the year so far at the time of recording in this video. I do not recommend checking this movie out even if you are a fan of it because you are going to feel like your money was wasted on this movie. I am giving Jeepers Creepers Reborn a strong 1 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review as I want to know below in the comment section. Have you guys even heard about this movie and if you have then have you seen it and if you have seen it I want to know all your thoughts about it because I am really interested. Before you guys check out this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like if you want to and ring that notification bell so i can see you all in the following video